I still I think the Nets are the, I think the Nets might be the worst, man. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, they they've got themselves a bit of a dumpster fire. The fact that if true, if these reports of wanting to build around Mikhail Bridges, they there's no way that this is legitimately an outlook from a professional NBA front office. Like I love build Mikhail. with Mikhail is like your third option. Bro, Go for so it. Around him, Mikhail. you are not oh. sniffing the postseason for a 25, long time. Twenty five games that was now a year ago. I'm gonna spoil it. He was my player, like most disappointing. Yeah, but I, it, because right. he was like odds on favorite to win most improved player. But it's a combination of I just think him. I saw reports that apparently um, Jock Vaughn wanted to build an offense around Ben Simmons, who's played ten games this season, which is like okay, that's interesting. But I also think Jock Vaughn kind of got dealt such the the most weird hand, kind of ever because they fired Steve Nash. Gabe remembers it because they instantly flipped the switch. Gabe went on a 15 minute rant about the Brooklyn Nets and how they should be it's contenders true. in the Eastern it's Conference. True. They were playing so good and then they blew it all up. They blew it all up. And whether that was the right decision or the wrong decision, I'm not here to say that. What I am here to say is this is all brought together by them chasing the same thing that they did 10 years ago in trying to jump the process of a rebuild and go for just let's get as much talent talent as we can bring it all together that's what they try to do they try to do it a second time mortgage their future again they don't own their own first round pick guys until 2029 when i looked at when i looked that up i was kind of in shock they don't own their own first round pick until 2029 this is just that's why they're in this position where they're thinking jock vaughn's not getting it done we have talent this team should be better than what they are so we have to try and still be somewhat good because we don't have our picks and we also can't jumpstart a rebuild. Like, we're just in is the terrible situation. Is that an eighth grader? Yes. <laughs> 2029, <laughs> yes. <laughs> These yes. boys are in purgatory until the next decade. They're in hell. That's They're in basketball hell right now, man. Like, That's cr- Oh, my God, bro. It's back. Shut They're the team for me, man. They are purgatory, in purgatory is back. Bro, there's they're really bad. I hope Kevin Ollie does a good job because I think he's somebody that's kind of deserved a head coaching um, shot in the NBA. So I hope he does a good job. And they got some players I like over there. I love Cam Johnson. I love Dennis Smith Jr. I like Mikael Bridges too. Nick Claxton. They got good players, but they don't have a building block on that team to save their life. They don't. Are they the worst? Or are they worse than Chicago? <sighs> Because Chicago, Chicago have their picks now. Uh, yeah, Chicago are uh, like argue like objective. Yeah, they're weird too. Ch- Chicago's assets, their asset pool is much better. Way better. They they could jump. They could jump start their rebuild if they wanted to. Yeah, like we, to. and Kobe White over the offseason, which has been their saving grace this year. Like Facts. Vooch wasn't hard to like f- like get out of his deal. Like Demar could be out the door. Zach probably would have been traded if he wasn't hurt. But they still don't do anything with those assets. So, like, does it really matter? Like, Brooklyn, they've had some mismanagement. That's interesting. But at least they, at least they try. Like, Brooklyn's highs, Brooklyn buys in. They get to, like, the second round. They might be favored to go to Eastern Conference Finals. Like, there's some building blocks there. Then it falls apart, like, tragically. Chicago is in this state of, like, they don't even make that push to try. Like they haven't even. When's the last time Chicago won a playoff series? Was Derrick Rose in a, in a Bulls jersey? Yep. Like they don't even be trying. Like they have the assets, but what are they gonna do with it? Nothing. That's in true. Their, but in their defense, they tried when they got Lonzo and Demar. But I mean, they were, we, we know they how were that ended, team. unfortunately. But they were. Well, they good were a good team for Lonzo's thirty injury. games. I'm not saying they were going to be great, but like they maybe might have won a playoff series. Nothing more than that, but they might have won a playoff series. Maybe I don't think they would have personally. But the pace, the the pace they were at, they would have played maybe y'all in the first round. The Raptors, maybe. Yeah, but depending on matchup, they would have had a chance. winnable series. Yeah, yeah. See, my thing is though. Yes, they they have the asset pool to jumpstart the rebuild. They won't do it. That's that's bad management. But at least they. <laughs> 
at least they got something. So they might just get to a situation where they have no other choice but to do it, and they might not have get the same assets in return that they would get right now, but it's something. The Nets have nothing. They have nothing. They could trade Mikael Bridges if they wanted to, which I think they probably should, to be honest. Because he should be gone. Like, Dorian Finney-Smith should be gone. All those guys that are good players that can go help a contending team, get rid of those guys. But trading no. Spencer Dinwiddie for Dennis Smith Jr., like, what are we doing? What the hell are we doing, man? Like, that just makes no sense. 